was just, you know, just uh, worshiping the Lord by myself. And I think she sent, uh, I think she sent Pastor Anthony. And Pastor I said to everybody that was in that group. In the group? Yeah. Anyway, uh, I clicked on it, and uh, they brought it up. And when I saw the person that was speaking, I thought, oh, my Lord. Christian should look. And but I listened to him and what he had to say was, oh my take a while. And then I put my phone down and I was just sitting still worshiping the Lord. And the Holy Spirit just hit me. I went forward in my chair to where my head was almost down on my knees. And I was I was praying and he brought he brought back a, uh, about two, two months back, I was sitting in my recliner watching, watching a Christian station, and I heard, uh, I heard, don't criticize the cover of a book. Amen. And then I said, what? Don't criticize the cover of the book. And I thought, okay. What are you trying to tell me, Lord? And I really didn't get anything. I, I, I jogged, jogged, you know, put down the, the title. And I was waiting for God to give me a scripture and that. And, and so I thought, well, I'm going to go into the Bible. I'm going to start searching for some things. And I found some scriptures, but I just didn't feel that way with what that title meant. And so I thought, and I, and I thought, well, it must be for later, so I'm, I'm just going to put it on hold, just let God do what He wants to do, and after my time, He'll tell me what. Well, when the Holy Spirit hit me, He spoke to me and said, I did not give you that title to preach. I gave you that title because it's a prophetic word. And it, that's when I just went down and couldn't believe what it was. I said, it's not to preach. It's a prophetic word for the church. And I and uh, and I said, okay, God, then if you want me to share what you what you've been giving me, then I was I can't do it this week because I'm gonna be out of town. But keep it keep it in my heart. So when I get back, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to the pastor, and share with him. Because God, there's been times I've been sitting back there, I wanted to say something, but I kept my mouth shut. Because I felt, no, this is his church. So I'm just going to sit here as a nice, good Christian man should and worship God and hear, listen to the preaching of God and hallelujah Jesus. But he says, you're not going to sit like that no more. I'm going to give you more things and they're going to be prophetic words. And when I give them to you, I'm going to give you the boldness to raise your hand and say, Pastor, he said, it won't be in preaching. It won't be during the worship service. It'll be when there's a quiet time that I will give you a prophetic word and you'll stand up and I will and I'll make sure that you get the floor. So I said, okay, God, I, you, this is something new for me. So, I mean, you know, you have me praying over people and speaking over people. You want to give correct. I said, you're going to slow down if you give me too much at one time. But they both go together. And... Uh, I just started weeping for God because basically, and I'm going to share it with the church when I get back uh, from the Bakersfield. I'm going to talk to the pastor. And basically what it's about is that we've heard that, of course, you know, uh, that we hear that, you know, in the last days I'm going to pour out my spirit upon all flesh and all that. We've heard that, I've heard pe pe uh, ministers here saying that there's going to be a revival, a great revival before the coming of the Lord. And what that title, don't criticize the cover of the book, what that's all about, he's going to send people through these doors that they don't look like us. That's what that minister is talking about. He's going to send them in 
they're not going to look like us. They're not going to smell like us. But I chose them, and they are mine. And they are the ones that's going to be that's going to be the, the part of the great outpouring in the latter days. So the church is going to have to get ready. And if God didn't say, tell me when it's going to happen. All I know is that there's going to be people coming in, and we're not going to particularly, some people, now I'm not here at this church, because this church loves people. Uh, I mean, it, it, it still needs some straightening up. Uh, but most of them love people. But it's not just for this church, it's for all the churches in the United States. He's going to do this in every church, every church in the United States of America. He's going to do it to them. Then it's going to go worldwide. The reason why the, well, I know the reason why the, our country is because our country is turning their back on God. So he's going to bring, he's going to bring one last revival to this country. And it's going to move through the churches and it's not going to be people that we, that we have, think uh, doesn't fit our vision of what a Christian should look like. They won't, they don't, they won't, they won't be dressing the way we do. Uh, you know, they're deodorant. Probably won't work sometimes. But don't focus on that. We focus that that's a soul that's right. that God loves. He died for them just like he died for us. And we're not to be so fancy dancy that we think we're better than them. But to get ready, he's going to bring them in. And they're going to be a part of this and it's going to be young people, young adults. We're already getting a few in. So I think that's just the beginning of more that's going to come. And that's the prophetic word that God has for this church. And I'm going to uh, talk to the pastor and then uh, uh, share it with the church. And we better get ready because you might have somebody sitting next to you one day that maybe they didn't take a shower that, this, this morning. And they don't really smell really good. But overlook that because it's all about their soul not about how they smell it's not all about how they dress it's about their souls that God loves them just as much as he loves you and I and not criticize the cover of the book